We're unboxing and reviewing the Stargazer Skillet, so stick around. We're just continuing our cast iron series. Last time, if you wasn't here, we went over the good butter pat skillet. Today, we're gonna to talk about Stargazer. We're gonna unbox that Stargazer skillet and we're gonna give you our initial impression and views of what we think about it. As the Beagle says, let's get after it. Ready? Oh. Okay, and here is the Stargazer. Hey. Now, um, they've got it. Oh, they do have it secured. Where it yeah, ain't. it looks like it's a little, I would have liked to see maybe a little more padding, yeah. but it's got inserts here, so it's stuck in this cardboard. Take this plastic wrap off of it. This does have quite a different design, Yeah. which I, it's good to see. But I done see a product that you're gonna like on the end of it, that is a longer piece of extra that, handle yes, out here. It does have quite a large, yeah. and what's nice is you can, you can go through it there yes. too. Quite a bit longer handle yeah. than the butter pad. Look at that. However, yeah. I think that's bringing a little more weight into it, is it? Maybe just a tad. But not but bad. It, it's still, the handle may be just a tad wide, but this is for cooling. Yeah. I guarantee you. So this is going to be a cooler handle that you might not even need a pot holder, a glove, a rag, or anything oh, to pick up. And uh, I, I do like that longer piece here. Yeah. You know, if, even how you carry it, however you want to do it. And made in the USA, and this is their 10 and a half. It does not have the pour spout, however. But it's got a, look where it's all flared. You yeah. can pour out of this skillet anywhere you want to. Yeah. Because of that flare and roll. You can take and roll and pour anywhere you want. Right. It's got a good bronze color to it, and look here. Smooth as a Safeway chicken, again it is. It's got a nice finish. Finish, yeah. yes. And, and of course, for my small hands, the handle's a little wide there. And it's, um, I don't want to say overwhelming, but it's definitely a large portion of the skillet. I think mostly what they're trying to do with that, though, was to get a handle that is cooler. Okay, that you can yeah. grab a hold of. Because yeah. uh, I see this roll here, as you can see in it, it's got the rolled edges. Fits a thumb pretty good. Yes. You know what I mean? I yeah. think that's part of it. But I, I guarantee you, this design... Uh, is going to keep this handle from getting near as hot as anything else that sure. you've got. Yeah, it's kind of got a little bevel there. Yeah. a lot of them are coming straight out. Yeah, which is, so... it, I think, in one way, it may it may make you think it seems a little heavier, but really, it's taking away where it's giving you a little more leverage on this as you pick the handle yeah. up. For a smaller hand, it's definitely going to be. Gonna yeah, because you're going to have to get closer. It's going to take me a little getting used to, but that's why this this is yeah. right here. So. I do like that. Yeah. A good finish started here. I ain't for sure what they used. Uh, you know, if they're using canola, it, it sort of looks like a canola oil deal as first started. Um, a little mottled spotted. Of like a little patina to it, yeah. yeah. I, I do like the finish on it. It's smooth. You can see just a few of the meal marks on it here yeah. where it comes around. But I'm thinking I could slip an egg out of that right Oh, see, now you flip that pretty easy. Okay, so let's go through the use and care guide that they sent. Seasoning. This skillet is seasoned, which means it's ready to cook with right out of the box. Seasoning is a layer of fat or oil that's baked onto the iron to protect it and aid in nonstick properties. We have already taken care of the initial seasoning, but your skillet should be reseasoned about every six months, depending on use. Yeah. Wouldn't agree with that, but um, maybe it explains later why they do that. We like clean and season after every use. Um, that's just going to build up a better layer. It's yeah. going to protect it. It's going to create nonstick. If you see areas that look gray instead of brown or black, you may find rust spots and it's time to re-season. Please note that the initial seasoning is applied in two very thin coats and will take time to fully develop. Cook with extra oil when your skillet is new to aid in this process. We recommend using a canola oil or seasoning product like Crispy and following these steps. Mm. Like we said before, um, we don't really like vegetable, canola or lard because if you're not using your cast iron consistently, it can become rancid, yes, especially if you're in warmer climates. Um, so, but if you're using it, then these products yeah. would be fine. So they're saying preheat your oven to 225, wash it out with soap if you'd like. This must be a two-stepper deal then. We, we do it a little different. We also do it only when we're, um, like if we just had to strip an, a skillet 
and like it was rust care yeah. or something happened, we're trying to build a few layers. They're saying do this as a reseasoning. We only do that as if you're trying to build seasoning yeah. up. So that's uh, a little different. 475 right. is a little hot for me if I'm trying to put something in the oven to season just my personal use anyway because I, I don't, I don't want to burn that oil on there. I want it to secure and stay. Wondering how to clean this beautiful skillet? Cleaning cast iron is easy. In our opinion, hot water, a stiff dish brush, and a little elbow grease is all you need. There we go. That's true. Another good tool that we can recommend for stubborn, burned on food is a chainmail scrubber. Um, there are a lot of people that use those. We don't use them. We use wood, wood or a soft or, sponge. Yeah, so that's up to you. And first of all, too, if, if things are seasoned well, it don't take no effort to clean none that's of true. it. That's true. Stay away from scoring pads and steel wool. There you go. As they're likely to scrub right through the seasoning, unless you plan on re-seasoning after cleaning, of course. So there's a lot of debate whether or not to use soap on cast iron. If you run into some tough grime or you feel more comfortable with a little soap, go for it. You're not going to hurt anything. <laughs> Just don't soak your skillet in soapy water. That is very true. Yeah. Water should be used briefly and then the skillet should be dried completely. Some people like to warm up their skillet on the stove after washing and drying it to be sure it's completely dry. Good idea. And this isn't a bad idea. That's exactly what we do. Yeah. Never put your skillet in the dishwasher. Ding. Wait for your skillet to cool. Place the skillet in the sink. Run it in hot water. Add a little gentle soap if you want. Um, avoid abrasive cleaners like Barkeeper's Friend. Scrub with a stiff brush, soft sponge, or chain mail. Rinse thoroughly, dry immediately with a clean cloth or paper towel. Don't let air dry. If desired, place your skillet back on the stove and a low heat setting to ensure that it's completely dry. And if desired, wipe a thin coat of cooking oil on the skillet before storing, which yeah. I would definitely recommend. Every trip. If you are new to cast iron cooking, don't be intimidated. Just keep these tips in mind. In mind? Keep these tips in mind. Always preheat your skillet before adding any food. There we go. Yep. Use a low heat setting and give it five to ten minutes to test if your skillet is hot enough. Flick a few drops of water on it. Water should sizzle and dance. Avoid cooking with the acidic ingredients like wine, tomato sauce, as they're on toughened seasoning. Sure, acidic foods are hard on iron. Yes. I wouldn't put them in something this new and start cooking in it, no. That's a good point. But we always have, and I will continue to cook stuff like that in cast iron because it's all we use. And if you're seasoned well, sure, you're going to have to reseason right. because it does eat away at it. But don't think you can't put that in there because you can. Well, and especially if they're recommending you're only seasoning every six months, yeah. you probably shouldn't cook yeah. acidic foods because it will eat because you don't have very much seasoning yeah. built up so um depending on how you're treating your cast iron but we cook acidic foods in it because we clean and reseason yeah. every time use a little extra oil when cooking in a new skillet after using your skillet a couple times you'll be find that you don't need this as much what's the the biggest tip you have for people what they should cook when they have new brand new cast iron the the best thing i think they can do to it is deep fry and if you're deep frying in a, if it's a new Dutch oven or a new skillet, that oil is staying in there at a constant temperature above 350 degrees to where that cast iron is saying, oh, I love you, baby. Use caution when touching the handle. Our handles are designed to stay cool longer than others, go. but it will get hot eventually. Unseasoned, you can get this skillet for $80. Okay. Seasoned, you can get it for 88 Okay. So. so Really hey, not that big of a difference. I don't mind their pre-seasoning. It gives me a head start. Yeah, I would probably definitely spend the extra yeah. $8. Yeah. Normally, I would say, no, just give me bare cast iron. Yeah. But with this guy, I do like it. It's, yeah. it's smooth. Stargazer does have a military discount. Yeah. Be sure to check that out because they do offer that. I wasn't for sure about it when I first pulled it out about the handle and stuff. But I'm going to say this. What? I've become attached to it a little. Have you really? And, uh, it's I, definitely different. I think it's... It's, it was kind of a shock to me because it is a very different style than I'm used to seeing. Uh, I might have one other concern on it. Uh, you know, that's pretty thin up here on top, and sometimes I'm rough on stuff, and Bertha... You are rough uh, on stuff. Again, thank you, Stargazer, oh, for sending that and allowing us to review it. We'll put it on a medium heat, let it get hot. No oil, no nothing. What are we going to throw in there? Piece hog meat. I'm talking bacon. And I'm going to lay it in there, and we'll let it fry just a minute. Then I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna see will it move. And Lordy declare it would. It turned plumb loose. It'd go anywhere I wanted it. So I know that that surface that they've started out with is smooth. Was it easy to clean up? Sure was. You just take that little old wooden spatula to give it a few scrapes, wipe it out with a paper towel really good, 
The ultimate test is coming, folks. You know what it is, don't you? I'm talking a scrambled rooster bullet. Lay her in there and let her go. So I scrambled her all up there, got her just right. And you've seen that stuff that ain't seasoned. Well, you might even have some of it. And it sticks and you lose half your meal before you ever got to eat it because you can't pry it loose off the bottom of a piece of cast iron. It turned it loose, was easy to clean. Now, the thing I like about this skillet after I got to using, I can grab the handle. It'll take a little getting used to for me to get that handle because it's sort of made different. I'm used to one that just come out flat. You good folks out there at Stargazer Land, I want to thank you so much for sending us a skillet for us to review. I'm going to lay out four skillets. What are they? Field, Stargazer, Butterpat, Lodge. I'm going to give you my opinion of all of them, how I think they perform, how I think they're made. You may not have bought some cast iron, but you're thinking about it. Wait till you see this episode, and I'm going to tell you my opinion. And folks, I want to thank you from the bottom of mine and Chan's heart for tuning in and taking time out of your busy day to watch our channel. Now, I always tell you to subscribe. I do. Tune in next time. God bless you each and every one. Hope you have a great day.